So the morning of the bike race was really cool. We got there to the parking lot of the expo at about 5.30. I was there with my car, I parked, and I had my mom and my second shooter meet me there. They had a pickup truck, which we were gonna use for the rest of the day. We were gonna sit in the back of it and drive around and chase the racers. So we parked at the expo and then we walked a couple blocks up to, it's called Little Italy in San Diego. They had the streets all closed down and unfortunately, I was busy taking pictures. I didn't get a chance to shoot much video there. But I have a couple of clips that I'll put in here. There was over a thousand bike riders, which was really cool to have that many. It was really neat. They had a gigantic ladder there that I could get up on and get some shots that were above ground level that typically you wouldn't be able to get. So it provided a cool perspective. Unfortunately, their starting line had these hanging chains with sensors on it. I think it was RFIDs to track the starting of each racer, but it got in the way of all the pictures. So that was a little bit annoying. Um, I tried to remove one in Photoshop here, you can kind of see, and it worked, but it's a lot of work. And not... And for some of these shots it would be much, much harder. So after shooting a bunch on this ladder and at the starting line, uh, the race started at 7.15 sharp. The riders were let let go, and they started going down the road. And at the corner of this road, I had my second shooter positioned. So he'd be able to catch them making the first turn once they got up to speed and then going downhill. I was using primarily my A77 with a 70-200 2.8, the Tamron 70-200 2.8. And my second shooter had my old Sony Alpha A550 and my, and my Super Zoom, the 18-255. to 255. So that gave him a really wide range from close to Super Zoom at 250 millimeters. But because it, that lens has a variable aperture and it's not very fast, then the the bokeh and certain aspects of it weren't quite as good, but it worked. it's a great lens for something like this where you need that huge variety. So now once all of the riders left, the place was empty, the cops followed them down, and the road stayed closed. Closed. So then we met up, my mom, my second shooter, and I, we ran down to the truck and hopped in there. And then we got on the freeway and intercepted them probably 10 miles away. And then from that point, we had stickers on the car that said we were part of the event. So myself and the second shooter, we hopped in the back of the pickup and we drove really slow next to these guys and took a bunch of shots as we were driving down the road. This provides a really cool perspective. Again, I was using the Tamron 70-200 2.8 on my Sony Alpha A550. Really important to switch the camera to continuous autofocus so it will figure out and track things as they go. You don't want to lock focus while you're moving and they're moving. Autofocus with this lens camera combination actually worked great. I was really happy with it. We got a ton of shots and focus was pretty much spot on. I was also always shooting in manual mode, probably between um, somewhere around f4, maybe f3.5, and between 1 250th and 1 1,000th. It just depended on the light where we, where we were on the route. I really like the perspective that the 70-200 provides, especially in the back of the truck when you're at eye level. It allows you to really capture these guys. It has enough reach to go out and get some really cool shots of these guys. You can frame them nicely, so you don't have to crop very much. And also when you zoom out close to 200 millimeters and you're at f4, f3.5, you get nice background compression on the image and there's a lot of isolation of the subject just because you're at uh, a high millimeter with a wide aperture. Hey, this is Robbie with Taking Our Photography. It's race day, we're out on the track taking pictures. We were just sitting in the back of the truck getting a bunch. Now we're at the first rest stop and then we'll get back in the truck and go chase some more bike riders. All right, we're out here at just on the side of the road. We've been chasing the bikes from the back of the truck coming by. I switched to the 24-70 to 2.8 and I'm using a 
pill flash just to pop some light into their eyes. Um, trying both sides of the road, we'll see if any of these turn out. Actually blasting through pictures, I kind of got to be careful. Don't want to fill up my memory cards. I have a spare, but still, I'm going to end up with thousands of pictures by the end of the day. So I think we're going to head to the next rest stop, one of the turnaround areas next. And then we'll hang out there for a few hours and maybe get some lunch. And then eventually we'll head back and see what we get. All right, more bike riders. So let's go. All right, so now we're at the midpoint of this race. We're gonna hang out here for a little while and get some pictures. There's a ton of cars around here, ton of bikers. So we'll try and get some maybe cool shots around here and see what happens. So we rode up in the back of the truck for a lot of this. I think we got some cool pictures. For riding in the back of the truck, uh, 70 to 200, 2 is definitely the way to go. I had the 24 to 70 on just now, and it's really tough. They're going by so fast, it's really hard to get them. Then you don't have the reach to actually get them when you have a nice shot further away. So 70 to 200 is the way to go. Don't need a flash with a 70 to 200, 2 .8. I'm shooting probably between 1 500 and 1 800th of a second trying to get some still shots. I'm also doing some panning tracking shots of them. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna go get some food. So then we went back to the expo and the finish line and we hung out there the rest of the day. I had my second shooter pretty much standing at the finish line catching a lot of people as they were coming in and I was walking all around. I would also, I'd be on the finish line some of the time, but there was one corner that they had to come around right before the finish line. So I liked the angle sitting right on the corner there, catching them as they were coming around. I found that if you get low, you get a really cool angle. So you're kind of looking up at them a little bit. And since they're making a turn, it's kind of an action shot. So they're not perfectly stable. They're about to hit the finish line, so they're pretty excited, they're leaning, it's a good shot. Could frame it pretty much perfectly with a 70 to 200 2.8. And that was pretty much our experience photographing this race. It was really cool. The Sony a77 worked awesome. Um, I shot a little over a thousand pictures. GPS was on the entire time. And near the end, I was running low on battery. So a thousand shots, and I was down to 10% of battery. I had a spare battery, but I didn't need to use it. And I was up to close to between 1,000 and 1,100 pictures. My second shooter captured 500 that day. So we had a lot of pictures to go through, but I think we got a bunch. That was kind of the objective. They wanted us to capture a lot of the action shots, a lot of different people just stuff that they'll be able to use for pr promotional material next year and just cool pictures of bike riders you can put on Facebook, people will see them and like them, whatever. So it was a fun experience and I'm definitely getting better at learning how to frame these action shots of bike riders, finding the angles, getting down low. It takes a fair amount of practice to have it become natural, but I think I'm starting to get it. So hopefully the next time I'll be able to capture some more video out on the track and show you. I think there's another race that they want me to shoot for uh, after summer, so maybe uh, September-ish. So hopefully we'll get a bunch more footage and we'll do this all again. So I hope you found this somewhat helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe.